Hi there! I'm the Heretic, and uh, um, I'm going to discuss a really important topic that um, all the Christian denominations that they're avoid like the plague. And if they do get into it, they change it to fit the doctrine that they live according to, just so that they don't end up offending anybody in their congregation, which, you know, I have a problem with. <laughs> so, um, what we're going to discuss today is polygamy. Um, polygamy is different than polyamory, or polygamy, polygamy, or polygyny, I believe is how it's pronounced. Polygyny is the, where a man has multiple wives. Uh, polygamy is where you can have multiple marriages. Polyamory is where anybody can sleep with anybody and have sex with everybody. Um, and then there is polyg uh, polygyny, which I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing it right. I hope I'm man, but I may not be. But that's where a woman can have multiple husbands. Well, I'm going to discuss with you polygyny, which is the only, according to scripture, the only multiple marriage kind of scenario that is sanctioned by God. It's the only one. Um, because, and I will stress this why, it's the only one sanctioned by God, because it says they, the Pharisees come to Jesus Christ and tempting them, saying, did not, God, Jesus, did not Moses say that it was okay for a man to divorce his wife? And Jesus Christ said, um, the only way a man can divorce his wife is for the cause of fornication. Um, so, according to Jesus Christ, only a man... Uh, so we cannot add to or subtract from Scripture. It says that at the end. You can't add to it or subtract from it. Yeah, you subtract from it, you're going to hell. Well, it says, uh, if you subtract from it, so should your name be taken out of the book of life. Well, taken out of the book of life means you're not going to heaven, so... You're not going to heaven, it's a bad place. So, anyway. Um, so, if a man... Divorces cannot, Jesus Christ says, a man cannot divorce his wife save for the cause of fornication. That's it. That's the only way a man can divorce his wife. Um, so if a man can divorce his wife save for the cause of fornication, now it doesn't mean that the woman can divorce the husband. It doesn't say that. It doesn't say that anyway. You're not supposed to add to it. Do not add to it. If you add to it, the plagues in the book shall be added unto you. You don't want that. So... This is probably what's in hell. It's the plagues it goes into it. It's bad. Okay. But anyway, um, so, can't add to it either. So it just says, a man can only divorce his wife save for the cause of fornication. That's the only time a man can, cannot divorce his wife save for the cause of fornication. Cannot divorce his wife save for the cause of fornication. So if a woman sleeps with another man, that man can then divorce her because now she is technically married to another man. Because if a man and a woman are joined, then they become one flesh. So that means if a man and a woman get freaky, <laughs> then they are basically the same flesh. Now, how many fleshes can you have that are one? Jesus Christ said, I and my Father are one, and you and I are one, and blah, 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 blah. Everybody is one with me. Well, Jesus Christ is one. He gave, made a blood covenant with each and every one of us. This is what communion is all about. So if I make a blood covenant with him, then Jesus Christ and I are one. And if you make a blood covenant with him, then you and him are one. And if you make a blood covenant with Jesus Christ, you and Christ or whatever he is is one. So, Jesus Christ is polygamous with all of his disciples. So, as a man sleeps with a woman, he is one flesh with her. And if he sleeps with another woman, he's one flesh with her. And if he sleeps with another woman, he's one flesh with her. And so on and so forth and on and on and on. But that's a polygonist. That's a polygonist mentality. Um, now, all of you I know are screaming, all you Bible freaks out there are screaming, Oh, what about Timothy? Timothy 3, 2 through 12. Timothy 3, 2 through 12, it says, If a man desires the position of a bishop or deacon, he must be the husband of one wife. Well, it does say that. I, I, I back off. Yes, you are right. It does say the husband of one wife. But, if we look at it in the Koine Greek, and I believe it's Koine Greek, and I might be wrong on this, but I'm pretty sure it's Koine Greek. Because... Uh, it's New Testament, and you, all New Testament is in the Koine Greek. But anyway, my point is, <laughs> um, in the Koine Greek it says, there are two words, all both mean the same thing. Basically, let's use these two because we can get into trouble if we just use these two. So I'm going to point at each one respectfully, so we're just going to go with these two. Uh, <laughs> we're going to have Mia over here, and we're going to have Heis. Okay, with Mia, okay, Mia says that uh, we have... Monday is the one day before 
Tuesday. Tuesday is one day before uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. This is the Mia is the first. Sorry, first day. Mia is the first day. Now Mia can also be used as one, which is just means one day, or first day. But it's always in reference to a group of things. So one one thing or a first thing. Okay, first of many or just one. But it's the whole hand is the one of the many. So, okay. So you can just have one of many or you can have one, first of many. And that's Mia. Heist. Heist means one. One arm. I have one arm. No, well, that's not good because I have another arm. But my point is there's one body. I have one head. There's one camera. That's heist. There's one. Of, that's it. There's just one. Hi. You're beautiful. There's one camera. It's just one. Hi. Pleasure to meet you. Oh, there's Mia fingers. <laughs> well, sorry. That's Mia finger first of many. Okay. Anyway, my point is, is that's Mia and heist. Well, in this scripture where it talks about Timothy, it talks about Mia, the husband of Mia, wife. Mia, which is, which is first of many or just one so if you want to be a bishop you have to be at least married to one woman one woman that's it and then if you want multiple after that you can do that that's fine God won't punish you in fact David had multiple wives um, Moses was married to the Ethiopian woman and the Midianite woman Abraham we're not even getting into that Solomon had way too many wives in fact God kind of got upset with him about having so many wives because uh, at that point he was saying like, okay, moderation, man, moderation. You have way too many and you're kind of doing the bad thing. But anyway, um, yeah, so that's the situation. I mean, it's like um, Jesus Christ himself said, you know, he had a parable about having multiple wives. He says there were five wise, five foolish, five wise, five foolish, and uh, the five foolish had to go get more you know, oil for their candles, and then five wives met the bridegroom, went off to the, you know, marriage wedding thing, and they got married to the bridegroom. So, if Jesus Christ in a parable can get married to multiple women, then why can't anybody else? It's never been condemned in Scripture. I don't know why everybody's freaking out about it. The only way it's condemned is in this society. But, uh, there's another thing in Corinthians where it does talk about, you know, polygamy. Um, it talks about it in uh, 1 Corinthians 5.1. It says, um, you're not supposed to sleep with uh, uh, your father's wife. Um, sons are not supposed to sleep with their father's wife's wife. You know, which makes no sense if you're thinking about it in a monogamous relationship. Um, wouldn't that be your mother? And incest is already looked down upon. I don't think you need to write about it. But, you know, it's a questionable area if it's polygamy because it's not technically incest. But, you know, they had to write it down because they're trying to say, well, you know, it's not incest, yeah, but you still shouldn't do it. No, bad. Okay. But anyway, um, that's uh, what I got for you today. Um, I'm just posting this, and um, I hope to see you again shortly. Thank you for all your time, and I uh, will talk to you later. Bye-bye. Thank you, YouTubers.